are just so appreciative of the fact that we can come and um, bring our students to the museum and build it into their um, course. Um, it opens up the possibilities of um, ideas, concepts, um, shows them new materials um, and, the, and again we don't ask them to respond in a teaching way to the museum, it's all about them using um, what they see and, and are inspired by to actually develop their own work. So in the archives of the museum there is a wood print of Hokusai's The Great Wave and um, so that inspired me to make um, this glass cast Great Wave after Hokusai. Um, and I wanted to capture the energy and the movement that is in the uh, wood print and so I made a model out of soft wax and then cast it in um, glass. Here it is. This piece is called Dear Session um, and I was inspired by the fact that um, historically most pieces in a museum are from the collections of wealthy white men um, and I was looking at how many stories, particularly those of women, have been lost or forgotten because of this. So I used slump glass and found uh, photographs printed on acetate which I've faded to um, uh, symbolise the stories of the women that we, you know, we've lost over time. So this is my piece here called Hope um, and we came and spent a day going around the museum um, to look for inspiration. Um, and I have a background in science um, and upstairs on one of the floors they've got some microscopes. So I was looking, looking about that and at the same time I'm, I've been working on sustainability. So I'm quite interested, you know, climate change is obviously, um, I mean I think it's the most important issue um, and I think art should be tackling it. Um, and I wasn't quite sure where I was sort of going with it and then I, as further research, I went to the Royal Academy and they had someone who was printing from a polymer made out of algae. So it's completely sustainable and it's sort of locking that carbon up. So I then sort of came back with the idea and thought, how can I do something similar? So I managed to find um, a polymer, a plant-based polymer that you can print with. Um, so it's 3D printed. Um, and the polymer is completely plant-based um, and it will biodegrade, so it's sort of sustainable. Um, and the shape, um, I came back to the museum to look for the shape um, and the museum's got lots of sort of vessels of all sorts of shapes and sizes um, and they've survived because they don't biodegrade. Mm -hmm. But now we've got the problem that all the, all the bottles and plastic bottles that we're making, we've now got a problem with them building up, polluting our seas and our oceans. Um, and so now we actually want them to biodegrade. So that, that, the idea is that in a utopian future, the only place you'd see a sort of plastic bottle would be in a museum because they'd be made to be biodegradable or they'd be recycled. So, um, and that's hence why the name was called Hope. So it's a sort of hope for the future. Um, and it's got that sort of slightly futuristic and organic shape sort of um, representing all, all of that. Yeah, this is my one here. I, made, I did a cast out of a mould I have of a brain. Um, I got the inspiration from when I was walking around the museum. I seen um, Oakwood Hospital because a family member of mine worked there for years. So I was that tied in. Also, I suffer from mental health since I was a teenager and I wanted to do something to emphasise on that because um, it's a big thing as well nowadays. So um, I thought I'd do the, the resin it, uh, make the brain out of resin, then put the keys in um, to signify um, locking things away. Um, where, the, where the keys are floating is where you, you can't remember where you put that, that memory. And also I've crumbled some up, because I use different materials as well, to signify that sometimes your brain just feels like it's all over the place and you can't focus on anything. And the colour signifies the sea, because your head feels like it's swimming at times, especially when you start on the medication and you change, your head feels like it's all over the shop for a few weeks.
my piece is um, a soldier, a Tusuku Agami, which is um, the inspiration came from the museum and the ceramic pieces, and especially the Japanese room, which they have an immense collection there with amazing stuff. Um, my particular piece is a soldier, which means all inside of it are the women of Japan and who have been forgotten over the years due to the patriarchal society. The gold represents the screaming for recognition. The two swords, the size, are my weapon, which shows the strength and them coming together and getting recognition. And the red is towards the blood of the nation. And I've put it above so it looks like um, a little spirit, like the Tsutsugumi, which are a household spirit. From a museum point of view, it's fantastic to actually see the students' artwork. It's something different for our visitors as well. We love to support the local colleges and I know that the cases themselves are quite problematic so that gives another dimension yeah. to what the students can and can't produce. So from a museum point of view, it's fantastic to have um, new up-and-coming artists exhibiting their work and just giving us something really different for the visitors every single year.